Hello there, Pisces. Welcome for your March 2023 reading. Let's see what's happening for Pisces. Okay, we're starting with the Two of Coins. Trying to balance things out, make a decision here. Page of Wands. Hmm, maybe someone's trying to decide whether or not they should come towards you at an offer. Aries Leo Sagittarius. We have the Eight of Coins, so maybe something to do with a work offer or something to do with love that someone wants to work with you on this. And we have Four of Swords, maybe to even heal this. Okay, we do have the... Did I say Page of Coins? Yeah, Page... Oh, Two of Coins. Page of Wands. Okay, Page of Coins. I can say... I thought I, I said this when this was ready here. <laughs> Getting confused here. Okay, so we have the Two of Coins. Page of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let's see. Yeah, see, they're trying to figure things out. They're waiting. What are they waiting for? They're waiting for an opportunity? Hmm. Let me do a page of wands. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Someone is wanting to work on something with you. Also, someone could be also wanting to maybe offer you a, a proposition as far as business. They might want to heal. Oh, these cards are popping. Let me take this last popping. Oh, yeah, because there's some kind of ending. Or maybe you're trying to decide if you want to end something here. Usually this, uh, this comes in when it says there was an ending or it was inevitable. This had to come to end. So it looks like something had to come to end. And maybe now you're trying to decide what to do after this ending. Okay. What about the Page of Wands? It also could be, no, I'm getting both. I'm getting someone's trying to decide if they should end something. I'm getting two energies coming through. And something already ended. And now someone's deciding what to do about it. So let's see, what about this Page of Wands? Page of Cups. Wow. Page of Cups. Page of Cups. Okay, this, okay, so this is like saying this person has come in with this this information, this Page of Wands. They want to work on a connection with you. They want, maybe even apologize. Oh, yeah, okay. I think it's the person you cut out here. You maybe um, cut them out, and now they're trying to decide what to do. How to do this. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Okay, what about this Eight of Coins? They want to work on this. They're hoping that you'll give them a chance here. They want to heal this. Ooh, Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady coming in here. Thinking, contemplating how to make this work. Angels being divinely guided, feeling like this is heavenly sent. Okay, this is all the same energy because it's, it's giving me this like cluster together. This person is thinking, okay, maybe I'll, I'll send a letter or, or a call. Passion. Or oh, uh, no, maybe I'll come with an apology. Oh, no, maybe I better take my. <laughs> this person's all over the place. Okay, Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so now, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be any sign. <laughs> what about this four of swords? I'm ready to start getting choked up here. Oh, they want to bring justice. They want to fix things. They they want a contract with you. I think they want to get really serious here. They want like a a contract, a marriage. Libra energy. We have the magician. They're trying to manifest this. Hmm. For me, the magician is Aquarius and Aries. Yeah, this person is doing a lot of heavy things. They, I, you know, they might be able to do this because the magician has all the tools they need. So maybe they just have to straighten things out with you. Something, maybe there's a misunderstanding or someone's trying to balance something here. Let's see what else we get on this. Let's give some more information, please, on this. Three of Wands. Waiting for an opportunity. Ten of coins wanting to com This person seriously wants a commitment with you. The Empress. They see you as the Empress. The Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Oh, yeah. Three of Cups. They want to celebrate with you. They're waiting for an opportunity to be able to come towards you and offer a commitment. They see you as the Empress. Um, maybe, you know, starting a family with you. You're the one for them. They also put you on a pedestal. They're hoping in divine timing, destiny, that they'll be able to make this work. Libra Taurus with the Empress. Let's see. What about the Three of Wands? Again, 
this person, if there was some kind of third party or some kind of pain that they caused you, they want to come to you with the truth and heal this. They're waiting for the right time. You better make a move to heal this with you. Okay, what about the Ten of Coins? In their head, how to do this? Oh, this person's not sleeping. Oof. Some heavy duty energy here. They're they're worried about this. They want to they want a commitment with you. You're serious. What about this Empress? They want a victory. They put you on a pedestal. They they think very highly of you. Okay, what about the Wheel of Fortune? Four of Wands. This person wants serious commitment here. They're hoping someday, destiny, that you guys will be together. Uh, this person seriously is thinking about marriage. I don't always say that. And this person, it has, that is what's on their mind. They want You cut them out for whatever reason, and they're trying to come back in and make things right. Page of Wands. They're going to communicate to you. Look at their heart chakra. It's so open. It's sending all this energy. It's like overbearing how much love this person has for you. Okay, let's see. What else do we have here? Scorpio energy, death card. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Ace of Swords. Wow. The Hermit. Look at that. Three. Wait, two. Two majors. One Ace of Swords, one Queen of Swords. Okay. Justice. Oh, yeah. This person needs to make things right with you. They're coming in to speak their truth. They want you to, to realize that they're, they, they mean to change this. They want to transform this. They're going to bring this back. They're going to do everything they, in their power to bring this connection back to where it's supposed to be. They've been doing a lot of thinking, a lot of healing, a lot of... They're gone within. I think they also maybe just locked themselves away from everybody else so they can figure this out. They're going to come to you seeing you as a queen of swords. They know they have to speak their truth. Let me get a Charles queen of swords. They might have heard some talk. Parrot, someone repeated something. There's some kind of communication, something that they heard that they want to straighten out with you. I don't. I think you've heard something that was not correct. Let me see what I get as far as clarifiers. They want to make this right. Someone might spread some lies. Like this person's very upset about what was said. They want to speak their truth here. They want to get. They want to give you clarity. What about the death card? Scorpio energy. Endings, new beginnings, rebirth, transformation. Page, see, the page of wands came up again, even though it was out before. This person is definitely going to communicate with you. There's nothing that's going to stop them. Even so, oh, good news. This is good news coming in. Whatever this person is going to tell you, you're going to be very happy to hear it. They're, they're a bearer of good news. Okay, page of wands. Okay, what about this queen of swords? Ah, they have so much love for you. Look at this. They want to speak their truth about how much love they have for you. They, their cup is overflowing with love for you. They're, at this person, I feel like when they come to you, they might just really just open up their heart. And just Everything's just going to come flying out, pouring out. What about this Ace of Swords? They want a new beginning with you so bad. This person loves you so much. There might be, they might have other options, took the wrong option, or <clears throat> maybe they feel like you took the... No, they feel bad about something here. <clears throat> here, this person has their head. They got to speak. Oh, my God. <clears throat> They're all choked up. Okay. I might lose my voice. They're, this person is really hurting here. They might have took the wrong cup. They did something wrong. Or maybe they, they feel bad that you took someone else's cup, that you had a lot of options. Someone's feeling bad about taking a cup, though. Seven of Cups. Okay, what about the Hermit? <clears throat> They're going to speak their truth to you, though, anyway. They want to heal this. The Hermit is the the healer, is the teacher, is the student. <clears throat> hmm. 
Five of Swords. There was something here. They want to, um, they, they're looking deep to find out what happened here. I almost feel like this person, something that happened was not their doing. And they didn't realize someone was sabotaging this connection. Someone did something. That's why I'm saying got the parrot here. They heard. They didn't realize that someone told you something or someone did something. Someone else interfered with this connection and caused this breakup. There was some untruth. There's something was hitting here. Two of swords, three of swords is the pain. Two of swords is something that's not being seen. Something that um, I almost feel like this puts you at odds against each other because of what someone else did here. Five has changed though. We do have the four of pentacles. This person does not want to let you go. They're not going to give up easily. They're going to keep on trying to come around to, to talk to you to let you know what really happened because you don't know the truth is what I'm hearing. You do not know the truth. <clears throat> okay. Let's see what else is here. Boy, this person is so into you. It's ridiculous. I mean, it's not ridiculous, but look at this. That's I, that's, that's how I feel. They're so, they can't stop thinking about you. You're on their mind constantly. This person does not sleep. They're stressing over this. Look at that. Nine of swords, eight of swords. Mentally conflicted. Now with this, this, this is able to break through. Free. So they're going to do something here to break free because with the Eight of Swords, this is mentally stuck in your head, but you, you feel like you can't get out, but you can. Nine of Coins, Independence, Four of Wands, Ace of Coins. Wow, look at these Aces. Ace of Swords. Did we get the Ace of Wands too? No, we didn't, right? Because that really blew my mind. We got all of them. I haven't seen the four aces come up. Okay, so now we have... I mean, for a long time, I haven't seen the aces come up. So, well, I mean all the aces. So we have the ace of swords, ace of cups, ace of coins. This person is coming in with an offer. They want to offer you everything. They want to give you a golden opportunity. There's nothing they won't give you. This person will will give you whatever you want here. They love you so much. And they they want, um, here's an independence here. They're, they might be breaking away from something here. Maybe breaking away from a commitment that kept them locked in or something. Okay. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Six of Pentacles. They want to balance things out with you. They're stripped. They not. They can't sleep until they know they fix this. We have the justice card that came up twice, and now we have the six of pentacles. Making if they gave to someone else, or if you think they gave to someone else, I don't think they did. I'm. I don't know who I'm reading for, but whoever I'm really tapping into, someone lied. Someone interfered with this connection. They did not tell the truth, and here is a misunderstanding or miscommunication or I'm just taking lies. There's been some serious lies. This person's stressing over this. What about the Eight of Swords? See? They're stressing over whatever someone did here. Here's the Seven of Swords. This is some kind of lie, some kind of deceit, some kind of betrayal. Some, probably they were envious or jealous of this connection. And they broke you guys up. Maybe they wanted you or they wanted your person. But someone started trouble. Let's see. About this nine of coins. They wanted you to be free. They wanted you to not be with this person. This nine of coins is saying that you're doing all right, though. You're independent. You're doing well. King of Pentacles. Could be dealing with a King of Pentacles. Or this could be just saying you. this is your energy. You're doing quite well. You're financially stable. Okay, we have here the skull and crossbones. It's interesting in this card. This king of pentacles has a bird in the cage and, and foot on top of that cage. It's almost like keeping someone from talking or keeping someone locked up or keeping someone from starting trouble. I feel like they caught whoever this was that 
started trouble and they're keeping them locked up here's here we have someone could have a skull and crossbones tattoo or something to that effect i almost feel like i'm what i want to say here is so, this person feels like someone poisoned you against them by talking by and they locked that up they they realized what it was they caught that this person is no longer free, whoever it was, to say what they want to say. They stopped it. King of Pentacles, let's see. This person went after whoever started trouble. Okay, what about the Four of Wands? We have Eight of Cups. I'm going to put this card down too. It wanted to come up. Yeah. See? Oh, yeah, they want that. They want marriage with you. This person wants happy ever after. They want to build a family with you. They want to be with you. They want to walk. They're walking away from something to come towards you. Or someone's leaving something behind. And um, this is a completion. This is end. Over. Done. To have this commitment with you. They're leaving something behind to have a commitment with you they might be leaving a commitment to have a commitment with you this is the end though the the world the um ending new beginning new cycle branching out starting it's a whole new they want a whole new life with you this person just wants you that i mean plain and simple they want to come and straighten this out i hope that you let this person speak their peace and then make up your mind about it because for some of you this is really i'm feeling very strongly that someone really else sabotaged this connection and you believed whatever they said and it was not the truth now for some that's not going to be true it's going to be you know you left the person it wasn't right and that's it but for somebody this is too strong this person cares too much about you they're not going to stop okay and what about the page of wands let's just keep on this page of wands. the end lover past Okay, so if someone had a lover in the past, they ended. It could be th just is what they're saying is that this page of wands wants to speak to you because you ended something with them. They want to come back in. Okay, what about this page of cups? Likely future mature. Okay, so this person has matured. And they want, I, I also feel like I'm getting more than anything. They want to have a future with you. A long term, a mature, to mature together in the future. Okay, what about this Knight of Pentacles? Breakup. Present. Healing. Yeah, this person wants to, in the present, they want to heal this breakup. We had healing right there anyway. It's the Four of Swords. It's like there's, they want to heal this. They they might even be bringing you a present. But they definitely want to heal this in the present. Okay, now what about this Page of Wands? Tower? TikTok. Okay. Someone feels like they're running out of time. They're going to surprise you. It might be with some, something with money. Let me get the... Aries Scorpio with the Tower. Oh, they might be giving you a bag of money. Look at that. <laughs> there's like a gift of money. Or maybe someone's come into money or there's like some... I don't know what to make out of that bag of money. But there is a bag of money. It almost feels like a gift. I don't know. Queen of Swords? Let's see. Confess. Past life. Expect. Okay, someone, expect someone to confess to you feeling like you guys had a past life together. Or maybe you feel that way. Or maybe when this person comes around, you can say, you know, I feel like we've been around this. You know, if you meet someone, and as soon as you meet them, like things just really just seem so comfortable and just seem so right. It usually is because you've been with them before. Let's see about this King of Pentacles. What's going on with this King of Pentacles? Realize apology desire okay so i think this person wants some it desires to actually apologize to you they I, the, whoever i'm tapping this person wants you so bad 
they, they're come they're gonna offer you the world here so I see the world the ace of coins the ten of cups everything they want to give you it all they want to give you everything that you ever desire this person just loves you so much okay let's see what signs could we be dealing with what are the signs what are the signs here for Pisces okay someone's flipped I just gotta take that flip card where is it I thought I said flip card I don't see it Oh, that's strange. Oh, there we are. Here's a Gemini. Let's see who else slipped. I thought we had another one. Okay, I'm not seeing it now. All right. So let's. See. Oh, there it is. Leo and Libra. Okay. So those are the cards that flipped on me. Okay. What else do we have here? We have Cancer. Oop, two came out on this one. Cancer and Leo. And then Aquarius. Okay, we have all the air signs here. All right, guys. So, this could be placement in your sign. Placement in your chart. Placement on other people's charts. Past, present, and future. So, we have Gemini, Leo, Libra, Cancer, Cancer, Leo, and Aquarius. Now, for the letters, we're going to do 11 letters for initials. First name, last name. If you get both the initials of someone's first and last name, and they have a middle name, and you know that middle name, get that initial also. All the better. Past, present, and future, also your own initials. We have U, E, L, F, E, W, V, P, K, Z, L. Okay, the letters we have here, they are U, E, L, F, E, W, V, P, K, Z, L. All right, now for the names. Let's get 11 or more names. They've been a little, um, not wanting to jump out for me. And if I try to force them, then I get way too many. I have the basket. I don't need that. Come on, guys. Nobody yet. Come on. Okay, there. Thank you. Who's the bra oh? Who bra who's the brave one that jumped out? Lunel. L O U I N E L. Come on. <laughs> I'm sorry, I really don't want to force because too many clouds. I might have to just pick. I hate to do that. Okay, let me just grab from the bottom. Oh, okay, how many? Well, maybe. Grab a couple more. Let's see how many we have. Okay, Luanel, and then we have Nicole. We have Clemens, C L E M E N C E. Serdy, C E R D Y. Rose. Freddie. Robin. Andrea, A N D R E Y A. Roxanne. Laura, L O R A. And Vinny. Oh, we have 11. Very good. Okay, guys. So those are names. Now remember, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. Please take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. I'd love to read your comments. If it does not resonate with you, check your other placements. You always check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Something might resonate with you more there. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.